Hi everyone, uh, my name is Hank and this is a LeBlanc 24 foot cabin boat and we're starting at the helm. There's two captain's chairs. A little rough but serviceable. Here's the console. Uh, dual binnacle stainless wheel Sea Star steering. Got some older electronics up there. Let's take a look in the cabin. Uh, we've got a number of commercial life vests. And we have seat cushions. Let's go inside. There's a massive bumper there. Um, down here you've got some footrests to be installed. Uh, service manual for the engine. Manuals. Here's some engine parts. If, if you're planning on servicing the engine yourself, uh, there's a lift ring that fits into the flywheel. You can pull the engines with an engine lift. There's two bunks here. And it's pretty hot in here. Here's how the boat is wired. Um, I did it myself, but it's it's kind of really basic. Um, pretty easy to work on. There's a porta potty here. Uh, it could use some windows. Here's the back of the boat. It's got a nice bench seat, and. Uh, I got I put some extra brackets uh, to support the bench seat uh, and you can see I don't know if you can see but the batteries go under there here on the left side there's a fuel filter there's plenty of seating um, there's a number of deck plates um, here's one deck plate there's a gate valve under there for the it's got an 80 gallon stainless tank um, here's uh, two more deck plates. One has a, a gas gauge, an electronic gas gauge, and the other one has a, there's a plug, like a two inch plug. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's go up to the, <coughs> to the bow. the bow. There's a bow roller, stainless rail, there's a solar vent and a one of the windows opens. Two of them are fixed. Up on top it's got a, the hard top is wood that's been fiberglassed and gel coated. There's stainless rails up there. You got an antenna and a old Lorraine antenna. The side windows have curtains, but, but windows can be put in there. This is a project boat. It has some issues. Um, these supports need to be redone. It's not a big deal. They're like maybe three by threes. Um, the biggest issue I found here was with the splash rail. What I'm referring to back here is this this compartment here is totally fixed and for some reason the builder never put a plug in the bottom of the boat and yours truly never put a plug in the bottom of the boat. So the exterior of the transom does not have a drain plug. And I think what happened while this thing was sitting up in storage, uh, these one of these deck plates leaked and this part filled up with water. So as a result, this splash well this splash well here needs repair. And really in order to do this correctly, easily, the engines need to come off, which is 
it's a lot of work, but it's doable. I did it. I installed the engines, and I'm not an I'm not a marine um, I'm not a marine uh, mechanic by any way, shape, or form. I just followed the instructions. So yeah, you could do this yourself. You could pull the engines and take it somewhere, or if you're handy with wood, um, it's just plywood that's covered with mat and fiberglass in. So it's actually something you could do yourself, but you need to be handy in order to do this kind of work. But it doesn't have to be pretty. All it has to be is work. Now, is is there any other rot past um, this uh, splash well? I don't know. Um, I've, I'm, I've, I've got it dried out, and I put my Samsung camera in there and took some pictures. I guess that remains to be seen. The engines need to be overhauled. I've got the carburetor uh, repair kits for them. There's their 90 horsepower uh, force engines, mercury parts. They take a premix, and they're really simple. There's there's what we got there. So we've got the engines there. That's what it looks like from there. Let's go around to the port side. This hull is really solid. I mean, most Florida built boats are nowhere near this thick with glass. We got a hammer. The bow is enormous. You can see that this boat comes two ways. There's there's a step up on the bow, and I just ordered it standard with the step up, but I'm not sure that was a good idea. It does give more room in the cabin, though, and there's a lot more glass. This boat is really, really big. Here's the uh, drain plug for the anchor thing. I mean, it's like an inch thick. So here's the starboard side. That's a uh, my ladder there. Oh, and it's a pretty nice trailer, actually. It's a 26-foot Towmaster aluminum trailer. It's got torsion axles. Um, it's got brakes on the, on, the, on the front axle, which I don't think are working. I've got a trailering block for this thing that's made out of wood that will hook onto the keel. As you can see, there's a keel, a small keel. That, that's if you were trailering a long distance. And it would, it would keep the back end from jumping around. I've got a, I've got a current tag for the thing. The, the lights all work except for one thing. I need to go back and um, I, I think there was a uh, one light that wasn't working. But the blinkers work and the brake lights work as far as I know. It needs tires. They look, they don't look bad, but I mean they're from 1997. So I mean I've been going about four miles back and forth from the storage yard to my house. And, uh, I don't think I'd be taking this on the highway. Here is the, the brake mechanism. I haven't taken the cover off yet. Uh, and it's got a, there's a wire here that hooks up to the, uh, the backup. It's a backup light. So you hook this up to the backup light, and you and you can back up uphill. 
Otherwise, if you're backing uphill and, and the hydraulic brakes are working, you're not going to be able to go. So That's why I think they're not working, because I can back uphill. So anyway, that's, that's about it on this guy. Uh, it needs some tender loving care. And uh, you can put a ton of people on here for as many life jackets as you have. That's how many people you can put on here. I think I think the guy that built the boat, Neil LeBlanc, told me that you could put two or three tons of weight on here. No problem. It draws very little water also. Um, I'd say that probably, I mean, the scuppers are above water. So probably maybe right to here, or maybe even lower. It only draws about... Three inch, the boat only draws about maybe two or three inches of water. You get your engines. So if you live on a canal, this thing would be ideal. So that's it. I could take a cover off an engine. Yeah, I don't know. I can't do that one-handed. But I have the covers off, and they look pretty clean in there. So Decal is a pretty rough looking, though. Anyway, so that's about it. You can get in touch with me at H-A-N-K-U-A at Hotmail.com. That's H-A-N-K-U-A at Hotmail.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Bye.